Hey everybody. I was getting a lot of response on this knife, so I figured I would uh, do a little more of an update. This isn't the full, full thing. I haven't had a lot of time to spend with the knife to give it a lot of the looks it's needed. As you, uh, those of you who follow the channel know I bought a new truck. They took a lot of my time. I'm going over this stuff with the Delta. A lot of time with the kids, vacation and family time. Some st personal things going on. And I haven't had time to get the knives out and really just be an idiot and play around. But, uh, this thing is just a beautiful work of art. I like how he bevels the front kind of like a Sabenza 21. Rounds all the corners. A lot of times when a knife's closed, you'll get the uh, the gap between the blade and the handle. You can get pinched or cut or tore up. None of that on, on this knife. Fit and finish is pretty much flawless. I'm very picky and I don't have any complaints with it. Some guys mentioned they didn't like the clip. It reminds me of an old-style Microtech clip, and I like it. It's a pocket recessed into the aluminum. It's done very well. I like where he put the lanyard pin. I think it looks very nice. I like the craton. Again, reminds me of an old Microtech. The screws and everything, the finish is flawless. Pretty beefy stop pin on there. And uh, although it's a heavy knife, I think five and a half ounces or something monstrously thick blade the action's pretty good feels pretty good in hand the reverse grip forward it fits like it was made for my hand and the clip even gives me a ledge for my thumb it's also rounded enough for the end inward it grabs again like it was made for me. I have trouble to believe this thing would be very slippery. Forward in your regular grip. Just regular cutting. It's outstanding. There's enough jimping to give it a little bit of traction, but it's very wide and rounded, so it's not rough. And I think if you were to use it for a long time, it wouldn't really create any hot spots unless you were super, super hard pushing on something. Even then, I think it'd be pretty good. A little bit of the front, if you really wanted to get up for some fine work. He allows a choil here. If you step forward on it for some light work. And the rounds, there's a lot of grab on the handle. If you're to get in and whittle with what I do mostly with this, this part of the blades where I find most of my work. It's very well balanced. I like it. One of the things I judge a side opening automatic by is how much action there is when it's closed. You see that? Nothing. And no movement. No movement whatsoever. So now that I've put the tripod down, Bren's logo. Some guys have said uh, some stuff about him making some crazy statements about the Confederate flag. I have never seen or read any of that. I cannot comment either way on it. I don't care that it's there. And uh, some people think it stands for something that I don't. And I'm not going to argue semantics with who's right, wrong, or in between. It's an attractive flag nonetheless. And it's a small logo, which is what I appreciate. There is no monstrous brand ground into the side of it. They don't have to tell you all this junk. It's not like a firearm. It doesn't have a caution sharp etched into it because somebody sued them. It is just a fine piece of craftsmanship, and it is left almost completely blank for you to admire. I appreciate that. This whole flat is left undone where so many companies find it necessary to put their name or some tactical name on there to make it sound more intimidating, which I don't think it does. This, that sounds intimidating.
that grind, I can't find a flaw in it. And you guys know I'm Hawkeye when it comes to that stuff. I, I can't help it. For big money, sorry about the movement. For big money, I, you have to be. And uh, that's why my wife was really upset when I said I wanted to trade in my truck, by the way. I arbitrated the last one, almost forced him to buy it back. I'm very, very picky. I've only seen one other blade hand ground that was this even, and it was a Tim Goulayan Pro Series Lahar. I have a video up on it. That blade was absolutely flawless. Flawless. As is this one. Every line ends in the same place. The handle is done very well. It's very comfortable. Very Many different grips. The craton's nice. The button's good. The lock is perfect. I just, I don't find any problems with the knife. If I had to pick something apart, and I'm not picking it apart, it would be in the aluminum. I'll see if I turn the light on here. I can just see a fine line on the edge here. The light's catching it really good. And that's it. That's the only spot. Everything else is mint. Mint fantastic. Awesome. Whatever you want to use. It's a very nice knife. Oh, got stuck. So, for those of you who like a nice tanto, it's very well done. Very well done. Deep hollow grinds. Deep hollow grinds. Even the swedge is hollow ground. Of a very thick blade stock. The finish and the grind are just amazing. The knife is awesome in hand. Awesome. If I had to have an end of the world folder, this four inch beast right here might be it. Might be it. That's for you, Sean. You know what I'm talking about. All right, everybody. Oh, it also came with this Sweet Max Edition pouch. I had another one with the Delta, but it wasn't this cool. It uh, fits the knife perfectly. The Velcro is awesome. I might, I might eventually get some more of those for some of my other knives. Oh, another thing I like is uh, how it hooks over the stop pin. Flawless. It doesn't leave that abrupt edge for you to catch. It's just perfect. Makes it flow into the handle even better. I think there was 50 of these made. There might have been 25. I can't recall. There's not a lot. At this price point, it's unbeatable because the models that are abalone, inlay, or what have you, instead of craton, I've seen them going for 1800 bucks. The other pre-productions with the polished blades are going for 800 and some. These are going for around 400 I have no doubt that these will rise in value, and it's an awesome knife. So if you guys are really looking at them, I, I suggest you, you just grab it and don't sit around. I don't think they'll be around long. And I think when they're all gone from the purveyors, the secondary market will probably rise quick because, in my opinion, there is no difference between this and the $1,800 knife that he's selling other than your insert and that the blade is so high polished you won't be able to use it. This, on the other hand, is just awesome. All right, everybody. I appreciate the support. Thanks for watching. Everybody take care. Stay safe.